out here on my Facebook and saw my rant last night, yesterday, um, I got a little problem with the fact that a lot of the people out there are jumping ship because of personal disagreements, squabbles with other people, whatever. There's rumors going around, there's this and that, and it all boils down to drama. So I made a little rant last night and somebody said, don't be a sissy. I'll rephrase that and say it to people themselves so I'm going I wrote a speech I'm going to condense it because I wanted to be on the mic up there but here we are so y'all don't want to listen to me too long so at the beginning like I said I'm condensing so bear with me a little bit at the beginning about a year ago everybody jumped on board everybody walked up to these rallies saw a bunch of people wearing hats waving flags said hey are you a patriot do you support America? Do you defend our flag? You want to come to rallies? Yeah, okay, we're all friends. And that's how it worked. And now it's been, what, about a year now? And everybody is like, well, wait, I don't agree with you. And all of a sudden, well, I don't think you're going about this the right way. Well, I don't think he's going about this the right way. I don't like Patriot Prayers tactics. I don't like the 3% tactics. I don't like this. I don't like that. So instead of working things out and talking about it, everybody's jumping ship in. We have a third of the people here today that I thought we were gonna have. Yeah. And I'm a little disappointed in that. And I'm convinced that it's because of drama. It is. So it is. the speech I wrote last night is called United We Stand. Yeah. Yeah. So that is a very tossed about phrase, used very loosely, everybody says it. You know, you see a flag, United We Stand, you know, it goes in, doesn't it? It's like a government building sometimes and whatever. But how many of us take the time to realize actually what that means? Has anybody actually thought about that statement? So, like I said, I'm condensing, so. I'm gonna skip right to this part right here. Many of you are wearing hats that say MAGA, make America great again. I happen to disagree with that statement. I severely disagree with those that run around saying America was never great. In my eyes and in my heart, America was always great. So we don't have to make it great again. We're conservatives and we're maintaining status quo. Status quo means America has always been great and we're going to keep it that way. That's what we're doing. That's the difference between us and the protesters. That's why they're anti-fa. They're anti-everything. We are pro-stuff. We're celebrating. We're not protesters. We're celebrating. We're having a party. We're festive. We're happy. So, would you like to know what I think made America great for these past 200 years? Yeah. Because we stood united. We as a people have been making, have been united and making America great since we're a fledgling nation. But now our nation right here, right now is under attack. 
and everything that has made us great is now in jeopardy of fading away. We are under attack by progressivism, globalism, and the waning pride of our nation by our youngest generations. Everything around us is designed to bring about the fall of our great United States. But I have come to find out that there are people like us out there, people that still believe in America, people that want America to stay the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, we are those people. In order for our movement to flourish, we need to remember that phrase, united we stand. Yes. Step over, step around, step through those things that are planted in our path to divide us. Stand together and we can win this. United yeah. we stand. Those of you yeah. that are still here today and doing this today, I'm convinced that all of you understand that because not all of us agree with each other, but you're here anyways. And I've heard this man say plenty of times, and I agree, it's not about Joey Gibson. It's not about Patriot Prayer. It's not about Tiny. It's not about all these other things that you see all over Facebook. And it's not about Facebook likes. It's not about Facebook shares. It's not about popular videos. It's about us all having the same goal, the same beliefs, and we're all excited about the same thing. We lived through eight years of hell. We lived through eight years of the government destroying our nation from the inside out. Not all of us are huge Trump fans, but you know what? Trump is an opportunity for us to regain our nation back. Yeah, so we have to support that. We have to stand behind them and we have to stand behind each other. Remember that next time you're talking to somebody that has a little disagreement online or whatever about what we did here today or about what we did at the last rally in Portland or whatever. Not everybody is gonna agree with what you're doing here today but everybody, everybody that joined this movement believes in that flag, believes in this country. Absolutely. So let's remember that at the base root and let's all get united. Here, here.